Miracle Stories of the Brown Scapular. The devotion to the Brown Scapular has been validated by the Church through numerous miracles, establishing it as a powerful and genuine means of obtaining graces and protection. As Our Lady assured St. Simon Stock, it shall be a sign of salvation, a protection in danger, and a pledge of peace. Let us get to know some of these remarkable miracle stories throughout the ages. Saved from the Sea An amazing scapular story took place in 1845. In the late summer of that year, the English ship King of the Ocean found itself in the middle of a wild hurricane. As wind and sea mercilessly lashed the ship, a Protestant minister, together with his wife and children and other passengers, struggled to the deck to pray for mercy and forgiveness as the end seemed at hand. Among the crew was a young Irishman, John McAuliffe. On seeing the urgency of the situation, the youth opened his shirt took off his scapular and, making the sign of the cross with it over the raging waves, tossed it into the ocean. At that very moment, the wind calmed. Only one more wave washed the deck, bringing with it the scapular which came to rest at the boy's feet. All the while, the minister, a Mr. Fisher, had been carefully observing McAuliffe's actions and the miraculous effect of those actions. Upon questioning the young man, they were told about the Holy Virgin and her scapular. Mr. Fisher and his family were so impressed that they were determined to enter the Catholic Church as soon as possible and thereby enjoy the same protection of Our Lady's scapular. Saved from explosion. In 1955, a miracle occurred in the Midwestern part of the United States. A third grader stopped in a gasoline station to put air in his bicycle tires. And at that very moment, an explosion occurred. The boy's clothing was burned off but his brown scapular remained unaffected, a symbol of Mary's protection. Today, although he still bears a few scars from the explosion, this man has special reason to remember the Blessed Mother's protection in time of danger. Saved from fire. In May of 1957, a Carmelite priest in Germany published the unusual story of how the scapular saved a home from fire. An entire row of homes had caught fire in Westboden, Germany. The pious inhabitants of a two-family home, seeing the fire, immediately fastened a scapular to the main door of the house. Sparks flew over it and around it, but the house remained unharmed. Within five hours, 22 homes had been reduced to ashes. The one structure which stood undamaged amidst the destruction was that which had the scapular attached to its door. The hundreds of people who came to see the place Our Lady had saved are eyewitnesses to the power of the scapular and the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Saved from a bullet. One great scapular miracle concerns a French priest who had gone on pilgrimage. On the way to say mass, he remembered that he had forgotten his scapular. He knew he would be late if he went back to retrieve it but he could not envision offering Mass at Our Lady's altar without her scapular. 
Later, as he was offering the holy sacrifice, a young man approached the altar, pulled out a gun, and shot the priest in the back. To the amazement of all, the priest continued to say the prayers of the Mass as though nothing had occurred. It was at first presumed that the bullet had miraculously missed its target. However, upon examination, the bullet was found adhering to the little brown scapular, which the priest had so obstinately refused to be without. Saved from lightning. On August 27, 1602, Bartolome Lopez, a Spanish soldier, on duty in the castle of St. Elm in Naples, was saying prayers in honor of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, whose scapular he was wearing, when all of a sudden, lightning and thunder exploded above his head. The lightning bolt hit his shoulder, and without making any sort of injury, left on his shoulder the print of a cross as a sign of salvation which demonstrates that it was to a special help from heaven that he owed the favor of having been preserved from the terrible effects of the lightning. Our Lady protects a missionary. One day in 1944, a Carmelite missionary in the Holy Land was called to an internment camp in order to give the last rites. The bus driver made the priest get off the bus four miles from the camp because the road was dangerously muddy. After two miles, the missionary found his feet sinking deeper and deeper into the mire. Trying to get solid footing, he slipped into a muddy pool. Sinking to his death in this desolate place, he thought of Our Lady and her scapular. He kissed his great scapular, for he was wearing the full habit, and looked toward the holy mountain of Carmel, the birthplace of devotion to God's mother. He cried out, Holy Mother of Carmel, help me, save me. A moment later, he found himself on solid ground. Later, he said, I know I was saved by the Blessed Virgin through her brown scapular. My shoes were lost in the mud and I was covered with it, but I walked the remaining two miles praising Mary. A shield in time of battle. Mr. Sisto Mosco of North Providence, Rhode Island, is a veteran of World War II who survived unscathed the invasion of Normandy and later the Seventh Fleet War with the Japanese fleet, the taking of Hiroshima and Okinawa, and other bloody battles in the South Pacific. Sisto affirms that his miraculous escape is another perfect example of the powerful protection of our Blessed Mother of Mount Carmel through her brown scapular. I was on the battleship the USS Nevada as chaplain's yeoman during World War II in the Pacific. I always wore my scapular because I was brought up close to the church and I kept it on me all through the war. The ship was loaded with dynamite. A suicide plane hit the deck, real close to where I was positioned. The blast blew open the bolted steel doors of the compartment. I alone was left uninjured after the explosion. The rest were all dead or seriously mangled. I was the only one untouched, and I attributed it to the wearing of my scapular. Mr. Mosco later received a commendation from the Admiral of the Fleet for bravery. But in his heart, he firmly believes that the credit goes to Our Lady, the Virgin most powerful, who works such wonders 
through her habit of salvation. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us.